So we return with the story of Diego Ortiz. And at the beginning of today's episode, which is episode number five, we see Ortiz driving to the set of a advert. Now this advert is for FIFA 20. EA have personally phoned him. They've brought him to America just for this short little stint to help in the recording of the advert for FIFA 20. Now he doesn't really know what he's doing. He just knows to arrive on set, they've got him a trailer with his script in to just follow the script and it should be okay. You can see him here, he's found his parking space with his name, he's just walking over to his trailer. There's a couple of people he recognises, a couple of famous footballers, but he has just got a small role in the advert which will be showed worldwide. Which This is definitely going to help out the popularity of Diego Ortiz with it being shown worldwide. Clubs will see it. People will see it, they'll start talking about Ortiz, helping his value go up and his popularity. But you can see there the script said, property of EA, it was highly confidential and not even Ortiz knew, he had to speak to some of the crew members about what he was gonna do. And here I can reveal, he was part of the Volta reveal for FIFA 20, just mugging off some extra in the pitch, that's definitely him. But we move on to the first game of the episode where River Plate will be taking on Lanús at the home stadium where Diego Ortiz has actually been pretty good at home but he thinks he's been even better away. He's definitely been carrying River Plate this season. But one minute into the game, he plays a nice through ball across a little 1-2. Tries to cut inside and play it to Quintero at Cam. Couldn't quite do so. But from that resulting clearance, it falls straight back to River Plate. Eventually on the edge of the box, laid off. But it's a great save by the Lanús keeper, denying Ortiz from his first goal in the game. He's got a lot of space in the middle here. He's kind of playing as more of a cam slash striker. He picks up the ball in the cam area, rises into the striker area, but he drops back so deep, very similar to a cam. Ortiz's passing accuracy this season has been brilliant. But 13 minutes in, he receives the ball quite far out, played across to Prato. That's a very poor shot by him. He is not that good especially in comparison to Ortiz's stats this season but Ortiz picks up the ball on the halfway line a little one two with Quintero a little play back to him then he's just going to take around with a midfield partner but right back to charging up the field now looking to find someone in the box but no one's really making any movement apart from Ortiz Prato's out wide he you prefer him in the middle and Ortiz out wide but Ortiz is calling for the ball he let it lay for his legs and he strikes it from the edge of the box Ortiz picks up the assist and River Plate go 1-0 up, 30 minutes into the game. 15 key passes for Ortiz in his career so far, not too bad. And he has, he has got a lot of assists. His goal contributions this season so far, in terms of goals scored and assisted, I think he is about even with games played, which is really, really good for a first season in professional football. There, he could have had another assist as he played the ball to Prato. Unfortunately, he put it just wide, but into the second half. Lanús are looking to attack straight from their kickoff as the striker, nice little fake shot passes man, he finds the cam, playing up to number 7 and a lovely strike, beats the River Plate keeper and what was I talking about in the previous episode? Some of these River Plate players just aren't good enough but Ortiz here, he's going to look to get it right back with a lovely little roulette and he strikes one across the goalkeeper and it's a misery compiler, an instant reply. And that's 10 out of 10 players beat using skill moves for Ortiz, but he makes the score 2-1, which is the more important matter. And he looks to add to that lead as he plays the ball forward to his teammate. Little ball receives the ball on the edge of the D, little step overs, plays it through to Perez, and he strikes it and it is wide of the post, unfortunately, into the final 15 minutes. Ortiz plays the ball and it finds its way to the edge of the box, back to him, where he looks to make the run. Again, some players on this team ignore Ortiz's runs and they would have a lot more goals and they would be a lot higher up the table if they did actually listen to them. They're a lovely dipping shot, but it was just slightly too high there and it did go over. Keeper didn't even get a touch on it, unfortunately, but Ortiz here, making a run, plays it to his strike partner, back to the cam, back to Ortiz, edge of the box, can't turn and make the pass and then the eventual shot by his strike partner was very easily caught by the keeper. Here, plays a 1-2 with his strike partner. Again, a poor touch there by Ortiz. Let's it fall right to the defender, but the last chance of the game. He plays through the cam, 
little one two. He's out wide. He's got three men in the middle to choose from. Decides to go his own nice sort of ball roll past the striker. Strikes it. And the keeper palms it away. And the final score is going to be a 2-1 victory for River Plate with Diego Ortiz getting one goal and one assist. And a 9.4 rating, picking up the man of the match award. Really good performance there for him. As I said, passing accuracy is brilliant this season with a 90% passing accuracy. And one key chance which was converted into a goal brilliantly by his teammate. As we move into the next game where we will be taking on Argentinos Juniors away from home. And what we said, that he has been just as good away from home as at home. Well, he plays the ball through to Prato. Prato's not the quickest, so he plays it right back to Ortiz. And he's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. And he tries to go for the near post, but the keeper can easily fall down and save that one. Keeping the score at nil-nil. It was very early on there. But it does well by the keeper then to have such great reactions early on into the match. But on the edge of the box, Ortiz plays the ball through to his teammate. Hits the crossbar and Prato can tuck that one home to make it 1-0. 26 minutes into this game, Ortiz receives the ball just past half time. Plays through to Prato. Prato through to the cam in Quintero. He maybe tried to play it there, back across to Ortiz, but he decides to go for the shot, which was easily caught by the keeper. And you can see here, Ortiz didn't have the best game in terms of attacking. No goals, but he did have two shots. But he did have a 96% passing accuracy with two key passes, one of which hits the crossbar and resulted in the Prato goal. The other of which was just wide. But whilst we were at the movie set with EA, they actually told us to head by their headquarters because they had some special news to tell us. So later in the day, after recording the advert for Volta for FIFA 20, we went to EA's headquarters, which is up in Canada, not too far from where we recorded the advert. But we did have to travel back to Argentina later in the day for the final game of the episode. But it was brilliant news that we received from EA. They had told us that we had won the Player of the Month award for November after putting in a brilliant, brilliant performances. A couple of goals, a couple of assists in the league. Really, really good performances. And it's a definitely deserved, deserved award by us there. But we do move into the third and final game of the episode against Al Doz Evi. They've got a fish on their badge. But nine minutes into the game, Again, Ortiz calls for the ball, and he goes for a Van Basten-esque volley at the near post. Obviously, Van Basten's went in. I think it was from Van Basten for Holland. I think he scored the volley at the tight angle. I think it's... I think... Don't quote me on that, but I think it is Van Basten. But 18 minutes in to the game, the opposition play a brilliant ball through, and he just on, keeps his standing foot down, and he swings his leg back, lets the ball roll past, and he just strikes it past the keeper at the near post. Too easy, if you ask me. The keeper should not be beaten in that situation. And it's a definite place where River Plate need to improve in, hopefully, in the January transfer window. Hopefully, they sign a new keeper that can actually save stuff. Because we are very close. We're a month away. We're into December right now. But a nice ball there to the cam, who then lays it off to Prato, who tucks it home, and he makes it 1-1 in this game. Prato's had some good goal-scoring form in this episode. He scored twice, I do believe. But again, the cam, he's just, the, Quintero is the best cam. The other cam, El, El de Silva or something like that, he's just not good enough. Another shot in a very similar position to where we conceded the first. I think it's the same player, but he makes it 2-1. This time, instead of the standing foot, he just knuckleballs it over the keeper. And we're again climbing up the hill to try and get back level on this game. First shot was blocked by the defender there. And another brilliant reaction save by the goalkeeper keeps this game at 2-1. Ortiz is doing all he can. He's making runs through the middle. He's going to find Prato and try and play a little 1-2. He's got a lot of space in the middle. Strikes it. And he kind of slices that one over. Really got to be scoring that one. Obviously in the future when his shooting stats have improved, he should be tucking that one home. Nine times out of ten. But they've got a man over at the back post. They're not even going to go for that man. They're going to go for the man in the middle. My subtraction reference there. And he tucks it home. And with 14 minutes left, we're 3-1 down at home. And it's just a poor showing from the defence and keeper again in this game. We're on a 7.8. We haven't even scored or got an assist. That's just showing how well we're playing. But the ball is dinked over the top. We're not going to win any headers right now. But with 10 minutes left in the game, we're going to look to try and score 
the most smallest of lifelines back into this game. The left back whips one across to the back post. Again, we can't win the header. It's going to fall back to us eventually as we turn our man. We strike it in the near post. And the keeper makes a brilliant save to keep it at 3-1. He wants no chances of us potentially getting back into this one. But we lay it off. So the ball's played out wide to the left back. Quintero dinks one over the top. The defender heads it down beautifully for us. And we score our 25th shot on target. We make it one Oh, sorry, one goal for us in this game, but 3-2 is the final score with a 9.0 rating. 91% passing accuracy again, great key passes created, but the score is what matters and we did lose the game in the final game of the episode, but there's only one way to celebrate winning the Player of the Month, is to go out to the club. And well, we found this club in Argentina, that it's called the Vanilla Unicorn, and we're just going to go get a couple drinks at the bar which is being served by a, uh, you know, a good looking lady, but Ortiz, you can see there's a stripper pole in the back, you know, it's that kind of bar, it's that kind of club, but he's just going straight for the shots, you know, he's not not wasting any time on, on a bottle of beer or a pint, he's going straight for the shots, straight for the whiskey, but soon he may regret that, as he's going to get a bit tipsy, he's going to get a bit drunk, and he's not going to be responsible for his actions, I'll tell you that. See there, he's wobbling already. He hasn't even changed out from his outfit where he went to the headquarters from. But eventually, he is going to head over with all the other lads in the club. And he's just going to take a look. You know, he's not going to he's not going to throw any money. He's not got any, any money to waste. Even though he did get paid a lot by EA. He's keeping that in the bank for a rainy day to buy an apartment in Argentina. But that's going to be it for the episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please like, subscribe, and peace.